Hey guys, this is the most important thing that I can say. This is the nitty gritty of the world today, getting right down to it. What the message is all about, what Jesus was all about, and how the world works today after Christianity ended. Okay? Now, there's only one reason that there is any evil in the world. And that is because you judge somebody else's flesh. All our flesh is going to die. If you haven't seen my other videos, Adam and Eve didn't need a savior. They were with God. They fell. They were brought down into the flesh. There is not a single argument. There is one thing, I'm telling you, that causes all arguments, all stealing, all murder, all molestation, all rape, all lies, all manipulation, all abuse. There is only one sin in the world today. There was one sin in the world before Jesus, and that sin was being born. They had to be reborn. You know, just being born was a sin back then. But whenever Jesus came, in that generation, by the time 70 AD came, see, heaven and earth were to pass in that generation. But not one jot or tittle passed from the law until all things were fulfilled. Until heaven and earth passed, not one jot or tittle passed from the law until all things were fulfilled. Once that happened, Christianity ended. Jesus gave the kingdom back to God. But what is it that Jesus did? Jesus' blood covered the earth. But yet, some people made it to heaven and some people didn't. Jesus took away our curse, not in a way that we're going to live forever again on the earth here. But that we can go straight into heaven. And then our flesh is no longer weighed in the balance. If you listen to what I'm saying, you'll understand the whole world. It's things that aren't a problem. Smoking, drinking, whatever. Now, if you don't like doing those things, then don't do those things. They will kill you. Okay? These, these preachers will get up here and they just eat apples and fish and rice and beans, you know, and vegetables. Or they think they're so much better than somebody else, you know. They like to keep themselves healthy. If you like to keep yourself healthy, there's nothing wrong with that. If you judge somebody else for not being healthy, there's something wrong with that. Whenever you know that you're going to die, see, they, they call you the one that loves the flesh. Because you smoke and drink and everything, or have sex or whatever, and you don't eat good. You know, I'm going to enjoy the bacon. The bacon's very good. I love it. Thank God for sending Jesus and changing the customs of the world. He changed the customs, all the elements and rudiments and customs of the old world melted away. And God doesn't see our flesh anymore. You can be healthy, you can be unhealthy. You can do whatever you want, if you enjoy that. The only sin in the whole world is whenever you judge somebody else's flesh. Because if you don't, and you know that all flesh is the same flesh, and you're all going to end in the same grave, then you could never lie on somebody or lie about yourself. You could never murder, you could never molest, rape, steal, nothing. Lie. You, you wouldn't do it, you wouldn't manipulate, it doesn't matter. Everybody's just as important. You can have sex with as many people as you want. You can be a prostitute who exchanges sex for money. It doesn't matter. Having a good heart matters. You can be a bad prostitute or a good prostitute. You can be a bad uh, vegan or a good vegan. You can be a bad homosexual or a good homosexual. It doesn't matter. Those things don't matter anymore. Literally, two people having sex is just dirt touching dirt. It doesn't matter. You create new life, you should take care of that life. You know, do whatever you can. You might not be able to live together. It doesn't matter. You can still be nice to each other. But you got to tell the truth all the time. Your wife doesn't know who you think about during sex or whenever you've thought about other people. You don't know that she's thinking about some of her exes during sex. And you have jealousy. You're afraid that she's going to enjoy what you know you would enjoy. You're afraid that she's going to enjoy that. You're, you're judging someone else and in the same process condemning yourself. 
And that's really the problem with the world, is that the world condemns themselves for the flesh. Therefore, they condemn everybody else. They condemn themselves for absolutely no reason. These preachers want to live until they're 90, 110, and they think that's like a sign of, Oh God, I, I didn't live for my flesh. You tried to live as long as you could. If you thought heaven was waiting for you, why'd you try to live so long and be so healthy and didn't ever want to die? Because God needs you to get the message out. No, he doesn't. If you guys hear this message, it'll set you free. But the fact of the matter is, God's going to judge every one of your hearts anyway, regardless. This is a message that God gave me because I looked for the truth. I wanted the truth, and he gave me the truth. Now, if you don't think that you're better than anyone else, you couldn't possibly murder them. Even if they were going to murder you, you'd be like, hey, cool, I get to go straight into heaven. I don't want to be down here anymore where the sun's annoying and the cold's annoying and everything that's enjoyable kills me and things that taste good are bad for me and things that taste bad are good for me. Whenever really nothing's good for you. If you want to die by eating corn, die by eating corn. You live a little bit longer than somebody who wants to die from whiskey and cigars, but hey, they enjoyed it. They want it. They rejoice in their smoking weed. They rejoice in their having freedom and some people like to do a middle of the road thing uh they're kind of healthy they do the they do some things that are really bad but they live healthy in other ways where they eat so that they can enjoy their life that's what they enjoy uh i probably won't live that long i'll probably die from drinking or something uh, but that is what i enjoy so that's what i'm going to do you know there's no arguments, there's no anything, if you can just hear what I'm saying. God is going to judge your heart no matter what, and your flesh does not matter, but the fact that you guys think your flesh matters is going to send you to fire when you die. You're not going to make it. You've gone back to the old world. You don't realize what Christ came. In the Bible, they were still under the law until the temple was destroyed. You're not under the law anymore. In the Bible, they were still under Adam until the temple was destroyed. Flesh and blood don't inherit the kingdom of heaven. He's not setting a kingdom up on this earth. He gave us a way for our spirits to go straight into heaven. It doesn't matter who you sleep with, if you want to sleep with everybody or nobody. It doesn't matter if you're a virgin, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But it matters if you condemn yourself and others. That matters. And because of this, we have borders and wars and languages and everybody's still living under the old world. And wicked men got Bibles together and Korans and whatever else. And put everybody back under this religion that says, You can't do this. You can't do this. I'm better than you. Look at me. It doesn't matter. If you got to deal with somebody that you're living with and you're able to live that way, that's cool. Say, hey, we'll only sleep with each other. Maybe you think it gives you less problems in life. Maybe you think it gives you less problems in life if you're not with somebody. But if you say, hey, we'll only sleep with each other, you still got to be honest. Yeah, you get turned on by this other person, or you get turned on by this stuff, or you've thought about this during sex, or you've done this, or you still got to be honest. In most relationships, they don't work. People want to possess you. They won't let you be honest. Most relationships, you cannot be honest in. And all you got to do is be honest. But these guys, these preachers that think they're so great and that their message needs to get out. Sorry, the gospel was preached in all the world. And then the end came in 70 AD. There's no, uh, I, I don't have to preach this. You guys don't want it. I, I've made videos that say Christianity ended. It's there in the world. It's there for you. If you guys wanted this message, You'd share it, and you'd get it out, and it would set you free, and you'd want to set other people free just as you've been set free. Because only your heart matters. And God knows every single thought and every lie that you've done. And since you lie about the little things in life, you will never see the bigger picture. You can't start out a liar. Who, all right, look, anybody who's ever gotten their conscience clean, which is very few people, who realized that they shouldn't lie and started telling all the truth. Once you do that, 
Once you tell the truth and you've got nothing to hide anymore, then you never want to lie again. But if you know that you're a liar already, you're going to lie more. You're just going to keep lying. And it is this that causes every bit of evil. Do not, you're just jealous. You're jealous of your girlfriend or your wife because you think that they would enjoy sex with somebody else like you would enjoy sex with somebody else. You say, were you looking at that person? Because you know how you feel and you're like, oh, oh well, you get mad at them for doing the same things that you want, you know? It's ridiculous. Nobody gets drunk and just uh, becomes abusive to a friend. You'll say, well, no, drinking and everything ruins lives. No, it doesn't. The lying and the manipulating and all that ruins lives. Drinking can be absolutely fun. This life should be a party. No, you shouldn't force anybody to drink that doesn't want to. This life should be a party of people doing the things that they enjoy. Right? And then whenever you die, everybody should be real happy about that. Oh my god, yes, he's dying. He finally gets out of here. That's great. He got to party his whole life. Party in the way that he liked. And the things that he did. And the things that she wanted. And the things that she wanted to do. But the whole time, she was completely honest. She was completely honest about her desires and honest to every person about what she wanted you know didn't have to lie to anybody about anything maybe she just liked smoking weed maybe she just liked eating this maybe she didn't maybe she liked other things maybe she liked walks in nature and feeling good you know bodily in her life doesn't matter that's her party that's your party what's your party because you should go party <clears throat> Like I was saying, though, drinking and all this stuff, it does not cause a problem. Drugs doesn't cause a problem. The hippies had no reports of violence, and they were doing drugs all the time. But they also weren't jealous and didn't care. Okay, so we're naked. We were born naked. They were telling the truth, guys. And then a bunch of uh, Hell's Angels came up there and ruined it. They ruined the whole movement by bringing violence to it because they were Christian. And they thought the hippies were terrible. And then after that, a good thing came out of it, you know, 80s music, that was pretty cool, because in the 70s, everybody ran back to churches and everything, and destroyed the hippie movement, and they became terrible, and, you know, <clears throat> then this caused some cool, rebellious 80s music, because all of a sudden, everybody's father was a preacher, you know, every single person, and they were so strict that it caused some pretty good music, you know. Um... I hope you know what I'm getting at. Life is a party and you should enjoy every second of it. Whatever you want to do with it. And dying is not caring about your flesh. Trying to live forever and be the best and be this and be that and your preaching matters and everything else, that's caring about the flesh. This is not my message. God gave it to me. He told me the truth because I asked for the truth. Guess what? Anybody who wants to tell the complete truth will come to the same understandings. You know? He did tell me to preach this, which I'm doing. But the thing is, is it's already out there. And if you want it, if the world wanted it, you'd see it. That's all there is to it. The whole world is messed up. We shouldn't have borders. We shouldn't have different languages. We shouldn't have different cultures. Uh, I mean, cultures is a different thing, but I mean cultures as in religion being backed into this place and this religion being backed into this place and you know culture's fine it doesn't matter you should be a cultured person actually but no you guys condemn everybody even though they're not bad you condemn gay people whenever you're a liar you're you're the liar they're simply Sometimes. I mean, gay people can be just as bad. Most of them are liars, too. Truth is, almost everybody's liars. But I'm telling you, if you would understand that that stuff doesn't matter whatsoever, and you are absolutely not one iota better than anybody in your flesh, then you would be completely free. Let's say that your wife wants to sleep with somebody else. <gasps> Don't you? You know your desires. I know that you're sitting there lying right now and you can't stand what I'm saying. But you know your desires. Well, if they did, that's not what you should condemn them for. That's not 
it's not the sex that caused the problem. It's the spiritual things that cause the problem, the things that you can't see. If it's jealousy, lying, envy, all those things. You're completely unfree. You are not free whatsoever. You know? They want to do that, do that. One person wants to drink, you feel you can't drink uh, because of your health or something. Rejoice with the person that can. Why do you care so much about this place? Everything here is just going to die. Everything here is going to rot and be wasted. What Jesus did for us, what God sent Jesus to do for us, his work's completely over. But he created a new heaven and a new earth. And it could be righteousness, but there is only one sin in the whole world causes everything else evil if you think that the flesh is bad or you condemn somebody else or yourself that is the only thing you cannot murder somebody whenever you know that the flesh is the same as yours you can't if you're no better than them you can't you know you can't fight your wars and be patriotic you can't you care about the whole world not a country not a president not their beliefs, you know, you can't steal from somebody, not even if you need food, because you know that dying is the best thing in the world, you condemn nobody, you lie about nothing, whenever you die, your spirit, straight into the city, you don't have to wait for nothing, you don't have to spread a message, you don't have to do anything, you cannot abuse somebody else, unless there's jealousy, or envy, and lying, because you would enjoy the same things. And you just can't. You could have this perfect life if you could get out of all the jealousy. If you could get out of thinking that your flesh is better than somebody else's flesh. God gave you a way to party, whatever your party is. And then make it to heaven, but you guys want this evil fighting with each other I'm better than you you're better than me my word is better I prayed harder I fasted more my flesh is better I've done all this in the flesh because and then you say it's because you reject your flesh for God no that is actually you loving your flesh wanting to live so long on this earth and condemning everybody else can you please just stop lying stop telling lies don't lie anymore. Go sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. Eat whatever you want to eat. Drink whatever you want to drink. Smoke whatever you want to smoke. Enjoy it. Condemn no one. And tell them not to condemn you. And be around people who do not condemn. Those are your friends. And you'll be the happiest person ever. Don't be sad if you think she's enjoying sex more with somebody else or he's enjoying sex more with somebody else. Because if you listen to what I'm saying, you won't enjoy it more with anybody. It's all the same. Only people who are jealous and envious and all these things, they're the ones who put sex as a uh, means of that jealousy, as a means of, oh, It'd be so much better with this person. Sex is a mind thing. Everybody knows it. But whenever it doesn't matter either way, you don't get jealous. It doesn't matter. The person thinks, oh my God, this feels so much better than that because they have those things. Jealousy, envy, whatever. Whenever you're just two people doing each other favors and you see everybody as the same, it takes away all this stuff. That's the nitty gritty of the whole new world, guys. And it's your condemnation that condemns yourself. It's the only reason you're not going to make it. it. Causes you to be a liar, manipulator, everything. You think you've got a message from God. You think you've got the answer. Anybody who tells the truth's got the answer. I do spend my time trying to help people out of the Bible, 
because I was a good person stuck in there. And I know there's good people stuck in it. And it can set them free to know the truth. And to me, I feel like that's something that I want to do, but I also don't want to try to live forever and try to get it out to everybody in the world. This is not, I'm not the apostles. This is not the gospel being preached. It's just a way to set people free. I should be able to make one video on this. And if the world wanted it, it would have gone viral. Everybody would have seen it. The world doesn't want it. Not my problem. I've got it. Just go find your party, what makes you happy, and do that. And stop condemning yourself for a flesh that's going to die and end in the grave and rot. Just like everybody else's, it does not matter if you live 10 years or if you live 110. It doesn't matter. It means nothing. I would rather not be healed. I would rather not live that long. So... I'll be happy whenever I die. That's one thing me and Christians have in common. We both want me to die. But what they don't know is I'm going to be really happy about it and I'm going to die doing my party. You know, life's a party. Whatever you want it to be. You throw all that away whenever you condemn other people, then life is stress. And you do all the spiritual things in the world that are bad. I hope you guys understand this. You won't want it. You're not going to get rid of your pride. You're not. You're going to think that you're better than somebody else. You're going to say, I don't even masturbate. Well, let me tell you what happens if you don't masturbate. Jesus didn't cleanse our flesh. You people out there that are condemned for these things. Okay. You see it all the time, especially in church. Oh, I'm never going to do that again, Lord. Oh my God, I'm never going to do that again. So... You try not to, but you can't stop it. That just gives it more power. In a month, you're going to wake up in the morning rolling around in your bed going, oh my God, I shouldn't touch myself. God, help me. I don't want to touch myself. Don't help me. Just help me. Just help me. And then you're going to do it. And whenever you do it, it's going to feel so much more powerful and intense because it's something that you shouldn't be doing. You're like playing a little game with yourself so that sex will feel better. <laughs> you're going to fail if anybody could live holy in the flesh they would live forever in the flesh you cannot go be completely fucking free life in this day and age is the simplest thing in the world and he gave us a way to where the earth could have righteousness but the reason people can't do it is because they think they're better, so they have envy and strife, hatred, jealousy, war, religions. This is the way to do it, you've got it. The only reason me and you aren't friends isn't because I have some kind of doctrine that you've got to have. The reason we're not friends is because you say I have to be baptized, I have to believe your way. There's like 300 million churches, I don't remember. There, no, there's like, I don't remember, 30-something million churches. They're out, they all believe something different. There's 44,000 different denominations in your house churches and everything else. And you've got to do it their way. It's their flesh. Hope you understand this stuff. The, the, what you judge people for is not what's wrong. You judge gays, lesbians, trans, other countries, religions... You should judge those religions. You should judge the fact that they're judging. But only judge if you're free. If you're not free, what are you judging? They're the same thing. <laughs> You've got a religion too. I judge all you guys who judge other people. What you judge them for, you're the bad one. You're the liar while you're judging gays. And you're the deceiver, the manipulator, the one that hides things inside and nobody can see what it is you believe or what it is you actually think about that nobody should know about. The thoughts and desires you have. 
You cause all the evil in the world, go party. You have to party to make it to heaven.